and welcome to another video on Spot On with Shruti. This time I am back with another three-dimensional shape called a fortune cookie. <laughs> well, it does resemble the shape of a cone, which is what we're going to talk about today. The volume of a cone or volume of any three-dimensional shapes like cylinders, spheres, cones, and a variety of other shapes are topics commonly learned in middle school while doing geometry. So whether that's a surface area or the volume, these are going to be part of your curriculum. If you're in middle school learning geometry, attempting ACT, SAT, this is a topic that is meant for you. So stick around and you will learn a lot more. And as a bonus, you might also understand why you need to start ordering ice creams in a cylindrical shaped container versus a cone. Because what is giving you more ice cream? Let's find out. So stay around and I'll see you around. All right, let's go ahead and get started right away. As you can see on the screen, I have already drawn the shape uh, cone and that of a cone. And it is uh, exactly like how you would see if you were to see a, a cone shape, conical shape from the front. So before I get into the volume, let me just give you a few parameters and dimensions that are important to understand this shape. So first and foremost, we have the top peak. This is called an apex okay and if i measure the height that is if we drop a perpendicular right from that conical point on the top up to the center of the base center of the base meaning which is going to be a circle hence why i have drawn another shape as you see on the screen which is the top part which looks like a triangle but it resembles a triangle it is not exactly a triangle as you can see i'm kind of lacing it right here in between it's a little curve right and the bottom is looks like an ellipse but it is actually resembles that of a circle of radius r so if you take the center point of the circle and go up till the top right here, we get the height of the cylinder. So this is called, sorry, height of the cone. I'm sorry, it is height of the cone. So height, height, and oftentimes written as alphabet H. Now there's another specific dimension uh, that we uh, learn about in cones, which is called the slant height which comes in handy when we talk about uh, surface areas or total surface areas, etc. So this kind of like a slope here, the curve, the bent, the incline on the cone, that is called exactly what I just said. It's called a slant. So these are the basic dimensions of the shape of the cone. There are more that we will learn as we go along. However, in order to understand the volume, the height of the cylinder, and the radius of the base shape of the cone. I am so sorry, I keep saying cylinder. It is not a cylinder, it is a cone, all right? The base of the cone, which is a circle, and the height of the cone is what is important to calculate the volume. And I'm going to give you the formula, which is going to be one third of pi r squared, area of the circle, times the height. So now let's understand how much ice cream we eat in a cone versus if we got that same thing in a cylinder, or a cylindrical shaped cup, would we get more ice cream or less ice cream? Let's figure out. Okay. Now I've already drawn the shape here and the idea what I'm talking about is the relation between the volumes of a cylinder and that of a cone. So we had already learned on a previous video, I will provide the description, a link in the description box to the volume of a cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder we had learned is given by pi r squared times h right now i will do the same thing i'm using double quotes to mean it is the same shape we are talking about the uh, same words volume of a cone is given by one third of pi r squared h now i'm sure most of you have already begun identifying this so the volume of a cone is one third that of the volume of a cylinder does that ring a bell to you? You get more ice cream in the shape of a cone or in the shape of a cylinder? In the shape of a cylinder, that is correct. Why? Because in a cone, you're just getting one third the quantity of what you would actually get in a cylinder. So, but there are conditions that when is this one third rule applicable? When the base radius, if you, I've tried to align them as much as I could. Here, the radius of this 
base shapes of both the cone and the cylinder are the same and they have the same height as well it is in these two conditions given the height and the radius of the cylinder being same then we can understand that the volume of a cone is one third the volume of a cylinder and that's why we want ice cream in a cup well i leave that on you because you make your choice of how you enjoy your ice cream no matter what ice cream is an ice cream just go ahead and enjoy but it has a neat little detail for us to understand how we can uh, relate these volumes and learn geometry alongside all right if you've liked this presentation or if you would like for me to do more videos then continue sending me your questions and queries and i shall bring you more videos all right my information has been provided for your reference feel free to get in touch with me and i will see you around Bye-bye.